So I just want to kind of follow up with the dullness of the blade weapons. It was already addressed with Jay and it's been discussed and things are cool, but I just want to see if I can spruce up the weapons. I was going to do it myself with the silver pin from, um, that I saw on Amazon to try and chrome it up. But I'm going to take it to Scotty Warren, who is the artist that painted the, um, Batman Joker in the previous video and see what we can do to spruce it up. So let's get it over there and see how it goes. All right, so we are back with master painter, Scotty Warren. Um, what is it? So are you studios? So studios. So rude. Soru Studios. I don't know why I've always been saying so are you. So Soru Studios. And um, he's customized my blade weapons, brand new weapon. Um, and he's going to tell us a little bit of what he did. Well, we took the weapon apart. We actually sanded it all down to kind of get some of the, uh, the black fade and the black uh, airbrush off of it. Turned out that it just didn't look right. It just didn't pop enough for us. So we went in and we actually came up with a theory that we did when we were doing props for local uh, uh, production companies. So we actually made up our own gut blood. And this is what this is, what they would call this is gut blood. You're gonna see the different colors and the different thicknesses all the way up and all the way down the blade. You're gonna see some of the pieces where the, the blood wasn't there. And it's a matter of stimpling and knowing where to put it to let it run naturally. Um, one of the things I did with movie props was basically slap people with what the original gut blood was, which is hair gel with red food coloring. Wow. We slap it all over everybody. And we did the same thing with the other, but we actually made sure we got some on the knuckles. Because Blade isn't exactly, he isn't exactly clean when he kills the vampire. So we made sure we got the knuckles, some on the fingers, some on the hilt. And then you see the different colorations, or even some of the copper. When blood runs off of steel, there's a coppery stain behind us. You can clean that off. And since Blade's meticulous with his weapon, because we all know that, you know, if that's his girl, we made sure that we actually left some of the pristine mithril silver that awesome. we actually brought in from Japan. It's a custom color that we brought in from um, uh, Iniglu just for this, this, this uh, build out. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing piece. I'm super pleased with it. Um, if you're in the area, Come to this guy to get yourself uh get your stuff painted and he does a myriad of other things as well and if you aren't in the area you know what to do reach out to me i'll get it to him let's talk about it we'll thank it you out. so much sir appreciate, appreciate you it, and we are back home with our weapons we are going to put them on the blade and see how it holds up we're telling the story that i'm attempting to tell again i'm really happy with how these weapons came out let's take these stakes off that were on here as a temporary placeholder and see how it holds up with the new weapons and the story that we are trying to tell. And I'll explain to you the story that I'm trying to tell. If I can ever get that in there. There we go. I'm loving it, especially if you look at it from this angle with the blood on the sword. And I think it holds up with the story that I'm trying to tell. So his, his weapons are bloody because he's drenched in the blood of the vampires that he's fighting at the base. So... After he successfully defeats them, he moves on to his next opponent. In the middle, we have our guy, Count Chocula. And then after a, a, a bloody battle, he successfully defeats Count Chocula. He can now sit down. He's on his throne, our daywalker, our vampire. And you can see he's got the sword stabbed in the left side of the chair. He's got the head of one of the vampires on the right side. And at the bottom, he's got the head of Count Chocula. So he was successful. So let me know what you think. I like it. I think it's unique. Um, it's a whole nother story about the weapon that the weapons as they came on this statue, but we'll save that for another time. Um, but overall, I'm satisfied. It's now one of a kind. It tells a story. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in.